Okay, folks, welcome back to MemoriesInAB.com. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to use uh, 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 Sony CD Architect uh, 5.2. This is a nice uh, application. Um, uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be doing uh, importing a long audio file, uh, audio file that uh, has several songs in it. Um, that we're going to cut into tracks. So uh, this application is great for uh, uh, long audio sessions where uh, there are no breaks in the audio and you want to make a CD of it and you want to cut it up at certain points in in the audio so that you can have separate tracks uh, as far as putting it on a CD. So what we're going to do now, um, so where I usually start is Gonna start in. Gonna start. We're gonna use Open Media, and right now we're going to uh, sort this so I can sort it by size, so I can find the track. We're gonna import uh, an audio track um, which is longer than your average track. Uh, do uh, there's a couple options on the bottom here. Uh, one we want is to add add the track to the timeline automatically, and we want it to create tracks. Um, we'll uncheck that one. We don't really need this one. Uh, create tracks from uh, media regions because I tried it and it really didn't work well for me. So I'm not going to do it this time. But um, selecting this option will create one track from the whole from the whole audio file and and then by doing that from that one long continuous track you can cut it up into pieces um, so where I'm going to start is what I like to do is I like to uh, Magnify uh, the the actually no I want to do that I didn't do the right thing it was this one okay there we go I want to magnify the waveform just enough so where I can see it uh, so if I wanted to, if if I, if I make it uh, this way. It's not there's not as much detail in it as I as I would like. I can see different regions of the audio file, um, and I'm assuming uh, that these are break points right here where different tracks start. But not quite sure yet. So we're gonna we're gonna magnify magnify down, and then I, I usually take the cursor just select the point do a play play it you know until I can I can hear where the, where the track is kind of making a transition so I know at this point it starts into another song so, I, you know, I want to tweak it a little bit. So, I know this is where I want to put my next track. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the T key on your keyboard for track. Right here, where you put the cursor. See that blinking line? So, we're going to hit the T. Wow. See what that does? That creates another track, track number two from the whole entire audio file so it's track number two so if you want to play it back you just hit the space key you know or uh, scratch that you know, hit the space key to listen to where you want it to start from to, to do a preview so we'll move down the track here so, like I said before, I'm assuming that when the 
waveform changes drastically, dramatically, that's where uh, the next song occurs. So we're going to uh, go around this region. And I was correct. So I'll just pick another point. Like I did before, hit the T key. And voila, track three. I'm going to do this the whole way down, the whole uh, audio file, until we're satisfied with our selections. And, and then what we'll do, uh, we have uh, preview controls right here. So if I want to go back to the beginning of the whole track, uh, I'll be of the whole uh, audio file, back to the first part. Then it plays from this point. I can skip to the next track. Easy as that. Now, what I want to do is uh, let's go ahead and see if we want to burn this file. But the first thing we need to do before we burn anything is save our project. So always save your project. Uh, name it whatever you want to name it, but uh, for tutorial purposes, we're not going to name it right now. Um, and then, what we'll do is we'll select Burn CD. Burn this bad boy. Scan for a drive, it's found a drive. Burn speed, burn speed is real important. You don't want a high burn speed on your audio CDs. You want a kind of a low burn speed because high burn speeds you're not going to get the clarity in your CDs. So you pick something like 8 or below. Uh, if you're pressed for time, you pick 10 or something like that. You know, I usually pick 8, you know, to be on the safe side. So uh, what you do is you pop your CD in, burn it. It's going to burn all the tracks the way you wanted them. And then, voila, you've got an audio CD uh, from a single audio file. You've got tracks, as many tracks as you'd like. Uh, that you can uh, advance to uh, on any CD player that plays audio CDs. So, thanks guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial from MemorySnavy.com. This is Brandon. Y'all have a good one.